Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about network access control list and we'll see how we can uh, block HTTP or SSH using NACLs. So let's jump into the video. So initially, let's go ahead and create the VPC. So it will be like similarly uh, like the previous video that we have created where we have created the security groups, right? So in this video, we'll be creating our network ACLs. So which is a next stage of uh, security groups. So initially, let's go ahead and create a VPC. So in this case, I'll just add it as, uh, let's say sample VPC. And let's add our uh, CID annotation, zero dot. So done, we'll be adding a subnet later on. So let's uh, create it. So you can see the resource map uh, flow. So we don't have any subnets, but we have the resource, uh, sorry, route tables. So let's create one uh, subnet here. So let's go to the subnets. Let's add a subnet. Let's select our VPC, which is sample VPC. And here, let's say sample subnet. And you can select the availability zone if you want. But in this case, I'll just leave it as default. And I'll just add my uh, subnet uh, notation. So let's go ahead and click uh, create. So done, we have created our uh, subnet. So you see like by default, there was a network ACL which was associated uh, to this uh, subnet where you can see, let me click the network ACL and you can see the rules in which it is allowing all the traffic from the internet, similarly the outbound rules. So basically if you talk about the definition, a network, uh, Access Control List is a network level security resource that serves as a virtual firewall for your virtual private cloud subnets. So NACLs are used to control inbound and outbound traffic at a subnet level, providing an additional layer of security for your AWS infrastructure. So if you talk about the security groups that we have did previously, it is at instance level, right? But coming to the network uh, ACLs, it's at the subnet level. So NACLs are evaluated after the security groups. So once the security groups are evaluated, then uh, comes the network ACLs. So even let's say, for example, the security groups allows the traffic, but let's say you have denied it in NACLs. So that will be denied, right? And NACLs uh, filter traffic at the subnet level, meaning that they control inbound and outbound traffic for all the resources within that subnet. So let's go ahead and uh, see the security groups first. So for example, let's go ahead and uh, create a EC2 instance. So let go, let me go to the EC2 instance and uh, let's launch instance. Sample EC2. So you can select your uh, Amazon machine image from here. So every time we select the uh, Amazon Linux, let's word it with the Ubuntu for now. And let's see. And coming to the key pair. So for example, if you're doing a search, you need to have this key pair, right? So in the previous video, we have used a Linux machine uh, where we have tried to connect with this EC2 instance. So you have to download this uh, key one, uh, if you don't have it, I'll just create one and download it. So coming to the network settings. So let's allow all this HTTP traffic from the internet, uh, you know, HTTPS as well as SSH. So by default, we are allowing all the traffic here, right? SSH, HTTPS and HTTP. So for example, if you try to access uh, this particular uh, EC2 instance from using HTTP or SSH, it will be accessed since you have given permission here. So before that, you can see here VPC. So this is a different VPC. So we have to change that. So sample VPC, enable, because we need to have that uh, public IP. Uh, let's go and leave it as default and let's go to create one. So that should be fine. Launch. So we have uh, launched this EC2 instance. If you go to that EC2 instance, let me go back. So basically it's still in pending. Let's refresh that. And if you click here, uh, let's wait for that. 
So you see the security group is uh, launch wizard three. If I go to this security group, launch wizard three, let me refresh this launch wizard three. So this is the one. So if you click here, you see uh, SH, HTTPS and HTTP have been allowed, right? So this is allowed, but let's say network ACLs and uh, this is the sample subnet. So inbound and outbound. And one more thing, if you see the security groups, it's only allow. Whereas if you talk about network ACLs, you can also deny it. So in the uh, you know in the security group, we have allowed SSH. So for example, if you want to block that uh, you know SSH, you can edit the inbound rules, add a new rule, just uh, add it as ninety because it it's the uh, you know preference. For example, the lower the number, the higher priority it is. So if I click 90 and let's say if I use the same, for example, all traffic and, uh, you know, all traffic and similarly, I just uh, save it since 90 is the first one. Let's say, for example, if I click this deny, so it will deny the traffic instead of allowing because like 90 comes the first. So if I go SSH and uh, if I deny it, so it will be denied. So even if you try to access that EC2 instance, you cannot access it because like we have, uh, you know, uh, blocked it in this ACL. So meanwhile, let's refresh it. So about previous video, we were able to access uh, EC2 instance using SSH. For example, if you use this uh, rule in ACL and try to uh, do the same operations that you have done in the previous video using the security groups, it will be denied because NACLs are evaluated after the security groups. So even if you have given access in security groups, you have denied it in uh, you know ACLs. So it will be denied in, in the end. So I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. So just wanted to do, uh, show you this concept and in the next videos I'll try to go deep into this uh, uh, you know concepts and coming to this video i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone